Let's keep going. Getting so close. So very close, I can taste it. I'm starting to hit the point where I'm thinking, what am I going to do if I actually get there? If I actually make a hard shell to live in, and I'm able to cower out of sight, then, like, look around. Look, look, look around at this. This will all have to be rebuilt better <laughs> with some level of organization. That's going to... That's going to take some time, isn't it? But let's see. Let's see. For now, you're just running the wrong way. This used to be the right way at one point, but now I have an even northerner place to go to. Actually, is this even connected? Is there any good way to get up here? Good to see that this is all working. Should be doing this much, much better. You know, I could say that about so many, many, many things in this factory. Man, I have to start thinking about actual base designs. That's gonna... It's gonna be rough. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. Putting together an actual design for so many intermediates and so many... Uh, handle so many side products, etc, etc, etc. Alright, so we will do rare earth right here. Right on the side of the road, of uh, this line. This is naphtha, right? And it doesn't have enough. How is naphtha production going? Let's take a look, see, hey. Nah. P-H-T-H, -th. naphtha. Just every once in a while it spikes up with a little bit. And given that I only need catalytic quantities here, should be fine, right? So let's see. Nah, it just gets left. I probably should have brought a lot more uh, underground belts. Right about here, right? This is going to be a annoying tower. That's the best way to put it. So let's see. Okay, we have all of our buildings. Mm, this is a bit too close, isn't it? Alright, we're just going to pull everything up here and so be it. We'll rebuild it later, right? Of course we will. So, jaw structure. Jaw crusher, and you are processing rare earth ores. And then, if I remember correctly, it is ball mill. And we are not building a proper setup here. This is a improper setup. And then you just crush that. You end up with gravel. You end up with stone. And it's like again, not doing this right. Doing this fast. You pick up stone. You pick up gravel. Good. It's a word I can type with one hand. How wonderful. Rare earth powder, which spits out of the jaw crusher. Rare earth dust spits out of the ball mill. Mm, yep, yeah, ball mill. And then it goes to rare earth mud via this recipe, is this in a FTS reactor? Is that what I recall? You need heat. You kind of look like you need heat. No. Alright. You need a lot of water though. Alright, great. You put this stuff in. There's our blast of naphtha. Look, we got a little ore. Isn't that wonderful? <clears throat> oh, I may have made it too close anyway. I'm already on the mud. Rare earth mud, and now we need a slurry, and it's this thickener. And then after the slurry is the solution, which is the fluid separator. So thickener, and then the fluid separator. So it looks like it's the exactly right 
area, right? You can make your slurry, good for you. And you can make rare earth solution, which is different than a slurry. Uh, and it has really wacky um, inputs and outputs. Why does it have an output for that? Oh, it outputs tailings. Alright, so let's make a nice uh, tank to store it, right? Because there's no way I'm, I'm dealing with the tailings right now. This is all just temporary. Though I suppose um, liquids are a little less temporary than everything else because uh, I can't just void them. That probably touches, doesn't it? I could have checked. No, it didn't touch. Alright, good. Alright, so after solution. solution. We have to go to concentrate in the evaporator. And after concentrate, it's oxidized in the salt separator. So evaporator, nice, small, and salt separator. Oh, I already had one. So somehow I put this in the exact right spot, right? Alright, so solid separator. I think this is the one I want, right? Earth concentrate with sulfuric acid. Which gives a side product, but I don't really care about it. Oh, and it gives me back a solution? How does this work? Where is the... Oh, it gives you the solution. And then the solution comes out here. Alright, never mind. For a second I was very confused. Alright, so... This gives the concentrate. And this gives oxides. Alright. So we have our tower here. <laughs> Not done correctly at all, but it is done. And again, catalytic amounts. So, um, rare earth oxides. There's no rare earth oxides here. Why is that? Oh, it eventually becomes a dash. All right, rare earth. See, it's rare earth powder, but then it's rare dash earth. That's a problem. <laughs> That's pretty bad, honestly. That should be corrected. Then the oxides need to go to cobalt fluoride. This is what I actually need to do, right? And that's a chemical plant, which is... Eh, ah, we'll move behind it. No, yes, give me a chemical plant. Can't do it. That sucks. A lot of this sucks. I don't want to have to move the wind, so we'll move it over here, I guess. Um, so let's continue setting this up. Obviously. And just as obviously. And right here you get the gravel and you get the dust. You need the dust and you need sulfuric acid. We're going to need a lot of sulfuric acid. You output a liquid and sand and rich dust. So we go sand and rich dust. Oh wait, we're gonna get a lot of steam out. We're gonna need a condenser, right? This is another situation where it's 2K in, 2K out. So it just needs enough uh, water to get it going. Uh, cooling tower, please. Can't do it. Alright, so we need a cooling tower and we need a 
chemical plant. Cooling tower will... No, not like this. Cooling tower will go here and we'll cycle it. Then we have to charge it up with water. Which will be annoying, but not that annoying. Meanwhile, we need to get rid of uh, rich dust and sand. And that will leave over here, I guess. Because we are being maximal sloppy. Alright, rich dust. And of course, sand. Doing this properly is going to be difficult, isn't it? Alright, so check again. Product out, side product. Side product out, side product. Side product taken care of, taken care of, taken care of. Product out. Product in, need that. And then we need. Um, we end up with tailings. Tailings go there. We end up with solution. Slurry. <laughs> Should probably do this like this, huh? Then we'll bring in ammonia. That I don't know how I'm going to make. Because ammonia is way on the other side of everything. And obviously right there. And you have side product of copper ore. Wonderful. Um, great. And then you have a side product of oxides. Yes, right there. All right. So, and then this still needs to be, it'll go across the street over here to make cobalt fluoride. Um, I honestly should be setting this up better, but I am not. Like I said, this is just, I need catalytic amounts of things. All right, so, and I'm under time pressure. I mean, I haven't gotten a terrible attack yet. So I need a couple buildings and I need sulfuric acid. Let's go. Um, it does not stop my paranoia that the terrible attack might be just around the corner. Like I said, uh, and like once you get into firefighting mode, it's hard to get out of it. What are we doing here? It's doing just fine. Okay. So I need some copper, I need a chemical plant, and I need a condenser, a cooling tower. So, over here. I'm going to need a lot more just stuff. So, let's go shopping. Grab some of you. Grab some of you. Uh, then I need chem. Then I need a uh, cooling. Cooling tower. Done. Um, need some more lead. I don't know why all the lo uh, liquid storage stuff requires so much lead. Uh, historically this has led to problems. <laughs> just, just saying. You don't want lead like that. Just not like that. And lead needs it's going to be a problem later on. Because I, I'm going to need a lot of it for military science. Assuming I get there, of course. I think I will at this point. We have been in the age of the behemoth for a while. And while I haven't had to deal with the first behemoth attack, um... It's a low percentage thing, so I guess I'm living on luck. <clears throat> Just sheer luck at this point. Oh no, I suppose it's worse than I think. Because it's not like if there's a 5% chance of behemoths, there's a 5% chance there will be a behemoth in the attack. No, it's a... There's like 10 or 20 of them. If there's 20 of them, there's a, they're close to a 100% chance there'll be a behemoth in the attack, so... Ah, uh, that will wipe whatever structure it runs into. 
That'll be fun, eh? Right, here's my sulfuric acid. This has to come north. Oh, I get to use the good pipes. Not quite yet, though. I also have to bring the acid gas north, which is, you know, tragic. This way. Oh, it feels so good. Can we get across? No. Alright, so we will go up right here. No, wait, we can't, right? Because structure in the way. So we will come as far as we can. Which is quite far. Normal pipe. Right there. One day I will not foul the situation with normal pipes. Oh, that's unfortunate now, isn't it? Um, yeah, look how easy it is to clean up. So we'll use this line. And I'm going to have to bring up acid gas, and I'm probably going to make an ammonia on site. Yeah, it's fine. All this stuff is fine. Still not smart enough to jump that, but probably could jump this whole thing, right? Yes, yeah, so nice. So nice. This is the nicest thing that's happened to me in many, many, many hours. Alright, so we gotta come over here. To do this properly, quote unquote properly. We have a utter trash build right here, but sort of properly here. We'll just use normal pipe for this. It's, we are just putting in local logistics. There we go. Good. Are we? We're not connected? Why not? My friends, why not? Why are we not connected? Do we leap over another pipe system and not notice? Then we'd be full of that, so I was just... I messed up somewhere. Did I mess up real early? Yes. <laughs> I messed up at the exact first opportunity to mess up. Congratulations, me. That's acid gas. Ooh. Ooh, maybe I should pay attention, right? I brought acid gas up. But that's gonna be needed anyway, so, like, don't cry. Um... So now we bring up the good stuff. It has to be right here, right? The thing I have my, on my mind right now is I have to go to a rail base. Kind of have to, right? Just for sanity reasons, not for anything else. So if I have to do this, I have to figure out the best way to fuel trains and get train fuel around. I haven't decided on that, especially given the extra difficulties that uh, hard mode grants me, like um, how I, I, there's a lot of stuff I can't build on, so expecting long straights is a bit much. I don't think I'm a fan of how acid gas and sulfuric acid are almost indistinguishable. Like, there's a lot of that in this mod, unfortunately. You don't do this. Right, you just get flushed. Right there, and right there. Now we have sulfuric acid. There we go. Who else? You need acid gas? Who needs acid gas? No, that's the, uh, the next step. Alright, you need sulfuric you need sulfuric. Right, so 
good, good, good. Standard factorioing right now. If doing it excessively poorly. All right, let's look around. You in, check. You in, check. You need water. I can handle that. You're in. You need ammonia. That's the big problem. All right, so. Ammonia comes from urea, right? Ammonia, let's take a look. Comes from urea in a chemical plant. I need another chemical plant, I guess. Um, and urea is just made from, oh no, I need Zogna. Ugh. Or wastewater, that's gonna be up here eventually. Need Zogma, so I have to. So I chose to make this all the way south. So I actually have to to pipe ammonia all the way from the far south of the factory to the far north of the factory. And can I just go straight through using my fancy new pipes? We can try, right? Um, give me a cooling tower. And the cooling tower has to go over here, right? Cools the steam and then regenerates. So this needs just enough water to get it started. Here, not yet. Like that. And we'll just do it this way. It is probably fastest and simplest. I should build more fancy pipe. Um, give me a water pump, please. Probably should have done that first, considering. Thank you, thank you. And it's going to leave a whole bunch of trash in my inventory, which is, after all, nothing more than what I deserve. So over here, over here, and I don't want to, not too much is going to be the watchword here. I want to put exactly 2,000 in. Nope. There we go. That's, well, I want exactly 4,000 in. There we go. A little bit else. Yeah, this works. All right, good. I'll just leave that here. Uh, eventually, I'll need water somewhere around here, right? Okay. So other things. I built a chemical plant. It'll go right here. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna continue just being utterly filthy. We need to make cobalt extract, right? Well, cobalt extract. Uh, no, we can do that real close to here, though. We have cyanic acid. We have to bring cyanic acid up. We need to bring cyanic acid and ammonia up. Um, uh, okay. So this is going to be the cobalt oxide. Cobalt fluoride. So I need another chemical plant. Um, we need acid gas. That's why I brought it out. So acid gas over here. And I also need to pipe up hot air. That's not going to be too hard. And I have to pipe up uh, ammonia and cyanic acid because we need. Cobalt extract, which will be made right here. Then we have flotation cell. Uh -oh. oh no, we can just make one. Good. Flotation cell. Um, all right, 
Let's get to piping, I guess. And another. Yeah, that's in the flotation cell. And mixed ores is in a ball mill. Ball mill? And then. What else? What else? What else do I know? Um. Cobalt, cobalt, cobalt fluoride. It's just a bunch of piping at this point. That makes that, that's right there. Um, here, we'll even do this. Oxide. Rare earth oxide. There we go. And so, time to just do a whole lot. And I mean, a absolute ton of piping. Okay, I can do this right. So, this way, grab a whole lot of you. And press this button many times. It's probably a bad idea to do it that many times. Did it anyway. I'm gonna go all the way down and bring ammonia up. Then all the way down. Well, cyanic acid. Yeah, it's probably easier to pipe it. Well, no. Um. Would it be easier to just belt up some ammonia? Some urea? And then make this on site? Huh. That's a terrible idea. I'm probably gonna do it, right? Just belt urea up. Alright, sure. And then I will make the chemicals that I need. And then. Um. I'll just have them. So go get a bunch of belts and head to the terrible Southland and then see what I can do. Oh, science going full tilt. Almost time to add more labs. Except uh -huh, I'm behind on infrastructure. I'm not behind on tech. I need to get to artificial blood. If I can get to artificial blood today, that would be great, but I don't think I'm going to. I looked ahead, unfortunately. I see I'm going to have to automate this properly eventually. Um, so why are you stopped, Urea? Why are you stopped, Zogna? Why is this stopped? Why don't you have any wood, of all things? Because this has changed. Oh, the lamp. I remember when I did that. Funny joke, right? Funny joke. Okay, so what we need here is to do a split. Hmm. We are going to have a tangle, I see. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, so we'll just leave some universally useful stuff right here. We're going to have to pick up some lamps. Alright, this is in fact a tangle. Okay, great, great, great. Come right here and pick up only this side of the belt. We are going to have so many lamps in our inventory. Glad I stopped by, huh? Alright, no more lamp. I have too much lamp, and it's just completely full of lamp. It will accept no more lamp. 
Alright, there we go. Now Zogma will start again. Alright, perfect. Here we have some lamps. It's for whoever needs a lamp. Alright, that starts again. This tangle, embarrassing. Nothing I can do about it, though. Now I know exactly what to do about it. Build a different base. So here we have urea. We do have a urea line. It just doesn't go in the main bus. Where does it go? Uh, it goes down here to make... What are you making? Oh, sample. Alright, so... So, so, so... Can we go this way? No, there's no... Coming through here is worse than anywhere else. We have to go to the west, or the, the east. Again, don't take directions from me. I will just get you killed. Okay, we're gonna have to address that, huh? Maybe picking up so much stuff was a little ambitious of me. Uh, you go there. You go right there. Um, that's all for here, right? Good. And we are hard caught. Uh, stuck on wood right now, which is unfortunate, but we're not going to pay attention to it since we are infrastructure bound, we are not uh, tech bound. So we have to get the urea out. This is a difficult proposition. Should we take it straight up and then over? Like on the around the borax, there's plenty of logistics space right here, even though it's hard to use. And then get it out this way. Yeah, sure, I'll try that. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's do it. So we're gonna have to jump here. Jump here, we need a destructive distillation column at the end of this. Is this going to work out? Of course it's going to work out. This is a great plan. We are great engineers. I'm going to have to rebuild all of this. I'm going to have to figure out how to manage the trains correctly. That is going to be a problem all on its own. Um, keep going up. I made internal space, so I might as well use the internal space, right? And look at this unused area, just waiting to be belted. And I'm not going to respect the borax. I'm just going to go straight through. Nice to see borax is backed up again, thanks to having syngas again. I will avoid city center. So what I'm going to do is go this way. We're going to try to get out. So... Not going to be so easy, eh? Good. Yeah, nice. We're going to see the urea catching up, but with the feeling, even with my slow pace of work, I am outpacing this belt by a good measure. So over here, mm. so maybe not over here. Maybe we got over here. All right, going through the old factory. Oh, and going up there is just a terrible idea. So, right here. And then we'll try to sneak out.
All those pipes I ordered are here. Good to know. I have to go buy the jerky. I will do something with the jerky one day, right? I don't think so. I think it's just going to be embedded as a part of the factory, just like this. The jerky is here forever, just like everyone else. Uh, yeah, we'll do this. That's why I picked the stuff up, right? Okay, good. Now, if I had done trains properly, this wouldn't be a huge issue since I would already have the track down. And because of that, it would just be a matter of hooking the urea onto the train tracks. And I would have already done that because I'm at this point, obviously. So we've made it from here to there. Things aren't really getting super easy here. We're getting there. And then once the train tracks would pick this up, uh, I wouldn't have to worry at all about getting it to the destination. I'm going to need those things. Pressure pumps. Me too. We we'll just use the existing rail system which I'd already sat down so I guess it's very time efficient like that. The problem is fuel. How to fuel the trains? And the answer is I'm not sure. Alright so we've reached the, main, the bus. Because there's like two schools of thought, right, that I'm aware of. There's two schools of me thinking right now. And one of those schools says you make a fuel depot and you have all trains stop at the fuel depot. But there's going to be a lot of trains. And if that ever backs up, it's going to, require, it's going to cause widespread problems. Probably in a just getting inputs into the fuel depot, which leads me to uh, the second problem. The proper fuel is almost certainly going to require multiple inputs, right? In order to make it, it's going to be very unlikely that proper train fuel can just be completely made out of nothing on site, which is the ideal situation. So we're going to have to have trains into the fuel depot in order to make the fuel so the trains can come into the fuel depot. This is... This is a design with peril attached to it, so what am I going to do there? Now the other thought is... Just find a way to make the fuel circulate through the factory naturally. So, like... But that means attaching a dedicated fuel car to every train or making it so that like every engine carries say 20 units of fuel and then there's balancers that read it at every stop and remove like five like keep it between 10 and 15 or or, or it re removes if it needs fuel if it has 20 but not if it only has like 10 or something like that. You know, rules. Um, but I am not sure about that design either. So we'll see. I am not committing, oh look, how I came on this line exactly where I don't need to be. Right here. Yeah, it's fine. All right, it turned out that it wasn't actually fine. <laughs> so I should not do this at all. Think of future me. Stop being sloppy. I'm not in the old base anymore. Pick this all up. Then we go from here.
It will shadow this saline line before I know that it ends. So up here, up here, and up here. Good. Now we snake through like so. And up. Can we figure out? We'll just go around, I guess. Probably best. <laughs> now, even that's too much of a waste for me. So, upsy goesies. And then somewhere in here. Uh, we react this to ammonia and cyanic acid, and we use both. So it's right over here, huh? The mess continues. Of course it does. All right, where's my destructive distillation column? <coughs> Excuse me. So right here, we need to get ammonia, right? Or is it cyanic acid? At least what it is. Right here, yes. This takes a ton of ammonia to produce not a whole lot of product. That's fine. So, ammonia has to come in here. It has to go in right here, right? Cyanic acid has to go. Is that using the chemical plant? Um, the flotation cell? Probably the flotation cell, right? Um, because we also need to make. I ordered a specialty item. Uh, cobalt extra. Right? The flotation cell. Yeah. So, flotation? Did I not order a flotation? Ah, right there. Alright, you make cobalt extract and tailings. Tailings will go to the tailings pipe. Right there to be dealt with at another time and then uh, do this first right cyanic acid gets the good pipe comes this way oh good pipes feel so good There. Good. So there is the cyanic acid in. Now we need just pressurized air. I don't know why I built two of them, especially when I already had one of them. Make pressurized air. Right there. So that'll get that. Probably need two, right? No, probably not. In all honesty, probably not. All right, so there's the air. Now we need mixed ores. That's a ball mill, right? It just needs to pipe some stuff up. Like we have uh, copper ore up here or down there, but I also have copper ore down south and in my inventory. Mine requires rare earth ore, so we need a splitter right here. Want to build the boat? Oh, 
in the right way. Okay. Then you gotta go in here and you get that and that and that. You make that and that. So this goes right here and here. You are actual product. The thing that I want. Cobalt fluoride. Yeah, so all that's missing is hot air and the urea arriving and actually hooking this up. I should probably be worried about the urea not arriving, huh? That's a little late, even for this belt. But... I need hot air, though. How's power? Power's not in great shape. Um, almost there. Oh, we have to bring up some nickel. And we have to bring up some copper. So let's just not worry quite yet. Got to bring up copper. And I can bring up nickel. It is near enough by, so it won't be a total pain. I could just transport it by hand. I am going to have to make a better nickel processor at some point. I need more belts though, which is a shame. Get in there. Get in there. So now I need nickel ore. Look at me, just at the <laughs> far end of nowhere. All right, we have to inspect the urea belt. And we have to get more normal belts. And then we have to drag nickel up. And we have to drag hot air up. And between those, we should be good, right? We should be ready to rock. Oh, and zip are almost ready, so I'm just late. I am straight up, completely late. There's the hot air. Um, I wanted to get Zapiers and then just immediately slam uh, the creature chamber on, but I don't have the infrastructure in place. I think I have all the prerequisites and I just have to run around joining them all up, but we'll see. Where have I messed up the urea line? Alright, it comes through here. I'm sure it was completely obvious to everyone at the time. Why didn't anyone tell me? Well, might be because I'm doing this offline. There. There is a problem, at least. It is but one problem. <laughs> it wasn't the only problem. But I inspected the entire line. It's a real shame I can't, you know, do it right the first time. I guess this whole factory is an exercise in not doing it right the first time, so I should just embrace the jank. I'm not sure if I can actually transition to a rail base until chemical science. Now, there's another problem. Again, that wasn't the problem. So I built this incredibly sloppily. All right, so there was one of the many problems. I got uh, disoriented by the zinc. That was a zinc-related skill issue, but all right. So up here. Let's now grab more belts. Let's go finish this off. I'm actually teching fairly fast. Um, given the requirements of this particular tech, was it 1100? Probably consuming them at like probably a thousand an hour or something like that. 
That's pretty good. So up, 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 we go. And I will try up here, over here, to hook up the final pieces. And we will be ready to turn this on, and we will briefly, briefly, briefly declare victory, and then we will move on to the next challenge. We should probably build a centrifuge right now. Well, I can't. Right. So I'm going to need to do that for the albumin, uh, which is going to be necessary for the spa. Uh, Artificial blood. I also have to make silver out of guts. It will look very simple. I will do so. And that will make fetal serum. And that's just going to be kind of hand built. So let's see. After we clean the belt right here, we have to split up and take some nickel ore. And for the first time in forever, this belt springs to life. Oh, not like that. Let's go catch that. Good. Alright. Made it. Could have been bad, wasn't bad. So, <clears throat> lead is actually going to be a real problem because. I don't have nearly enough of it, and I'm not going to have time to make it right. Well, maybe I will while the Zephyrs are growing. Because I'm going to have to build up a huge cohort of Zephyrs, and it's going to be a problem. Um, it's going to be a major problem, because those things don't like living. <laughs> like you would expect uh, the organisms I import to be hardy specimens which thrive in multiple conditions, not Zapiers. Zapiers need, like, don't even want to be born. You start with three eggs, you might get nothing. I mean, quite frequently you're going to get nothing out of that. After all the time you spent putting into it, it's like, oh, come on, guys. You are not genetically favored. Either an early GMO experiment or proof that uh, meddling just weakens the strain and now it doesn't even want to actually get up and do things. Which would be a fun little hidden message to encode here. You need the struggle of Darwinian evolution without pause or favor or even a scrap of mercy in order to actually make a organism that thrives. However, we're not going to get into that. Why aren't we making any? Um, I want that pH, th. Just not making any. I guess it's just really, really intermittent. Because I expected to see some some ore down here now. Because why am I, am I not seeing any mixed ore down here? Hmm. Anyway. I have a solution for this problem, right? Well, no, I actually don't. I have a temporary patch that addresses this issue, right? There we go. Get that out of there, get that all down there. And now it's only hot air, and then we turn this machine on and we get our cobalt fluoride. We have our cobalt fluoride peace build monstrosity right here. 
which is only necessary to get enough uh, artificial blood to make it the Urs appears, which I will then use to actually get to military science and achieve safety at last. There will be peace in our time. This is probably... Oh, it's actually burning light oil now. That's a sign of some sort. Um, I had hot air around here. I specifically noted it as I passed by. Where do you suppose that hot air is? I do not see it. Was it not right here? Is this is it more south? So I know we make it right over there. But I could have sworn I pulled a hot air line up for some reason. It even had an aeobium pipe. So right, right there. Yeah, this. I did this. Oh, it feels so good just looking at it. One downside, I suppose, is it's hard to see sometimes because it leaps so far. All right, right here is where we're going. You are needed further north. Let's go. Nice. Nice. This is so good. Just absolutely delightful to work with. The only complaint so far is it's kind of hard to see the second one, you know, the one that's behind. It's a little difficult to see. Suddenly this is just internal space because I can leap it so easily. Just absolutely beautiful. Look straight over this. How can anyone ever have any complaints about this? All right, hot air in, then we turn the sucker on. And somehow, despite everything, I managed to make life hard for myself. Why didn't you do the thing? Hmm. Interesting. All right. We should have everything we need. Why don't I have any urea over here? Do I have to walk this line yet again? I am not a fan of that idea. But it's like I have to. Again, this would be solved by trains. Oh, I should probably be putting those things into buffers too. I will when I get back. Um, give me two of these. Now let's follow the real line. Let's see what we can see. Oh, this actually just took a long time to arrive. Belts far slower than I gave it credit for. I built a lot in that time. Alright, so what we need to do is come up here. We need to build a couple buffers. There will be a buffer right here because, yeah, there will be a buffer right about here because, also, yeah. And then that will come here, and it's time to light this sucker up, and then we will see if it actually produces what I want it to produce. Because there is no guarantee of that. There we go. Off you go. Usually I want to turn it all on at once, you know, in a kind of ribbon cutting ceremony sort of thing. Oh, we have just 
a stone that needs to be vented. Alright, whitelist stone. Put you right there. Put that in there. You're being sneaky. Alright, get that in there. Get that in there. Great. And the urea has still yet to arrive. This is going to take a while because this is going to. Alright, so this is moving down. Slowly getting here. Are you even connected? Yeah. Alright, so good. The whole improbable chemical process is churning along. And right here, this is just required cyanic acid. And this and this and this. This is looking good. Wish I had done the urea line correctly the first time. So that's finally going. Good. And it's going to take a while to spin up enough. Because it needs, I don't know, not quite a while. About eight more seconds. Oh, it's not venting the uranium ore. Should do something about that, right? out. And we're actually going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to get there. Cobalt fluoride. Alright. Oh, right in time for Zapiers too. Nice. Alright, so let's review. What have we done? Cobalt fluoride. Ah, okay. Fortunately, we're late. I wanted to turn the creature chamber on right now, but I can't. So instead we just merely move on. Very sad. Anyway, cobalt fluoride, which we need for Flautech. Ah, I'm gonna need a lot of biofactories, aren't I? Biofactory, biofactory. Centrifuge. Um, this will have to be carted around by hand. That's fine. It's, we're going to make a ton of it here, hopefully. Um, and just review. Everything is venting. That takes forever, but that's fine. This is probably going to be the bottleneck, right? That's fine. Why are we stopped? Oh, because of just general production issues. Maybe we don't have enough. Cobalt fluoride. How much do we need for PP? So it needs just... So we need... No, we only need like 20 of these in total for my goal. So again, catalytic quantities. So good. Good, 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 good. Um, now there's nothing left to do but power forward to artificial blood. Oh, we're going to run out of urea soon. That's a problem. That's something I can expand by hand. So we're going to go all the way down. Apparently, uh, uh, power in was the final bottleneck. Now we have to try to figure out how we're going to make Zapiers. So let's go queue up the problem. 
I should be doing this from multiple sides, right? All sorts of stuff to make. This is Peter. All right. I should be doing this from many sides. I should be making the crustacean DNA samples. I should. CDNA is easy. This is easy. That's easy. This is, takes a long time. I should just queue that up and start doing it. And then fetal serum and artificial blood are need to be just assembled. We'll need barreling facilities. And that'll be fun. I should have picked these things up when I was doing literally anything else. All right. <laughs>